what is up everybody welcome back eclectic beard reactions disco round we've got carl introduces his diary carl pilkington being the just he's he's too funny he's absolutely hilarious uh this being part of i guess the uh, podcast show that ricky gervais had on uh, ex, uh had it on radio on the satellite radio stations um yeah so before we go any further like subscribe notification bell let's go ahead and get into it it was all, it was it was full of old people, really. Yes. I mean, that's, that's probably why it's called Grand Canaria, right? Because it's just Grand old people. Everywhere. Yeah, right. But what I thought I'd start doing is uh, start a diary. Okay, why? Just because I, I sort of had a bit of time on my hands and that. Just thought, write it down, write, write stuff down. And right? do you hope that this one day will become one of the great literary documents like Samuel Pepys' diary? Um, I haven't heard of that. Is it any good? <laughs> You've never heard of Samuel Pepys' diary? No, the, the, the most the, famous diary, uh, other than probably Anne Frank's. I've heard of Anne Frank's and that, and I thought if she's sat in a, you know, a loft, knocking stuff up, not much going on in her life at that point. Yet sure. she was still <laughs> not much going on. She's hiding from the Nazis. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Where is she been to Grand Canaria? Yeah. I thought so. There is stuff going on that I can chat about. Start a diary. Sure. You started a diary. Yeah. And what are you going to do? You, did you did you keep it up every day? Yeah, just... Uh, oh, can I read it, please? Well, a diary is meant to be sort can, of... Uh, please, can I read some out <laughs> on the podcast? I, Carl. Some of it, though, is only relevant to me. It's sort of oh, brilliant. this is... Please, give me it. <laughs> He's too eager. He's too eager. Oh, Jesus Christ, you can hear the mirth in his voice as he asks a ticket to read the diary. Oh, my God. I mean, this isn't... I haven't just... Look said, <laughs> it's oh one of those God. desk diaries. It's huge. It's about a foot long, and it's ma oh, that is amazing. Imagine if Anne Frank's had been like that. As she got out, <laughs> right? Uh, everyone would have heard it clanging. <laughs> I love the animation on this. Oh my God! Just boom. Oh look! Give us oh, that. Do you give know, us that. Do you know about? Joined that writing. Have you this heard about that? No Amazing. Point. Sometimes you can't read it, can you? So it's best right, to okay. look at, oh, look at oh, look, oh my God! It starts on the first day. This is this is wonderful. Going on holiday to Gran Canaria today. Woke up to the news that Tony Banks had died. There was a piece of on the news about how everyone was shocked. Got me thinking about an invention that would be good. <laughs> right. a, a watch that counted down your life. If it says you've got three days left, let's go to the doctors. <laughs> I love the drawing they get for this thing. <laughs> Death indicator, turny thing, a leather band. It says you've got three days left, let's go to the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> Told Suzanne about invention. She said she wouldn't buy one. But she said that about the iPod. How uh, and how would this device work? This watch. I mean, how would you uh, how would you know when you were about to die? Have you, is that a concern? Again, not for you to worry about. Presumably, the boffins. No, sort of all that. I was thinking is that Tony Banks fella. You know, he died, and everyone was shocked about it. But if you had like a little watch on. But how did? Well, you can't just say. Wouldn't it be good? <laughs> how how would this work? Yeah, um, I imagine you in the patent. <laughs> I love their grilling of them like. <laughs> There's a lot of folks who, if they could have something like that, they'd have something like that. That way, you know, they know when it's coming. Of course, I don't want to know, but there. How would you want? Oh my God! I'll just say, wouldn't it be good? How how would this work? Yeah. Um. I imagine you in the patent office, going, got an idea. They go, oh, certainly, yeah, Mr. Pilkington. What's your idea? Watch that counting down your life. Oh, how does that work? <laughs> just, well, just pop it on your wrist. No, no, no. No, what do you mean? Just pop it on your wrist. How does it work? Just pop it on your wrist. Brilliant. You're an idiot. Well, it's interesting that he goes on. The flight to Grand Canary was a bit bumpy. I thought about the clock that counts down your life again, and I wondered if it would know if you were going to die in a disaster. <laughs> no, he's querying his own, his own design. He's wondering yeah. if he would know. He's invented this. He's invented and now he's <laughs> having a shot. Uh, a fella on the plane was reading Koi Mag. It was a fishing magazine. I glanced over and noticed he was reading the Pond of the Month article. Don't think they could make it into a weekly magazine. Well, to be fair to you, I because I remember seeing a guy on the train once reading Carp Monthly, yeah. a magazine do dedicated entirely to carp, and it had it had carp of what the, the month. Fuck? And I just thought, you know, once you're like three months in, the editor must be stressing if we've got any more carp. 
We got a cart that's actually done anything. I reckon if they used the same one twice, there wouldn't be many complaints. No one would be noticing. No, that, well, that's the cart they used two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, hell. He was playing on his PSP. While I waited to go to the toilet, I looked at what game he was playing. It was darts. He's that fat and lazy, he can't even face playing a more active game on a games console. <laughs> Me and Suzanne got off the coach along with a couple of old people. One of them was in a wheelchair. I don't think it was wise of them to come to a volcanic island with a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll keep an eye on it as the weeks go on. Day two in Gran Canaria. Brilliant. We're only at day two. The hotel's a bit odd. I've never seen as many cross off. <laughs> Don't think it was that smart to come to a volcanic island in a wheelchair. Oh my god. The shit he worries about. <laughs> it's just his thought process, yo. <laughs> what the fuck? Brilliant, we're only at day two. The hotel's a bit odd. I've never seen as many cross-eyed people in one location. What the fuck? This is amazing. What the fuck? This is I've never seen as many cross-eyed people. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I wonder if he got like the fucking cross eyed uh if he got like the cross eyed convention and didn't know about it. Like you know, people taking looking like that way and that way, kinda like the guy on the Oh my god. Mr. Deeds, or, you know, the whew, have eyes like that. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's amazing. Well, you may right. well let me read on a bit more. But this is amazing. Well, look, come back this is a brilliant now. diary. This might be the best diary ever written. Oh. While sat listening to the kinks on my iPod, I wondered if everybody thinks in their accent. I know I do. What's, what's this? What are you talking about? <laughs> just, just that, uh, you know, when, I, when I've been sat there lying on the lounger, right? And I was thinking about stuff. How do you know you think in your accent? Tell me a typical thought. Because because what I mean is, say say if I was like, if I saw something, right? Do you know how I say like, oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? That, no, but that was I don't have said. to. But in, I, when you think, I don't think the sentence is like I'm saying it. It's just a thought. The thought appears. It's conceptual and it's already there. It's not like um, I go, Rick, just uh, looking at that fellow over there, were you? Yeah, I was yeah. Um, I was thinking it's a bit weird. Yeah, so was I. I don't, I don't think out whole sentences. Whereas you, you think... have Carl, Carl, li Carl, stop listening to the kinks from it. More, more cross-eyed people. <laughs> yeah, more cross-eyed people. Yeah. And Brilliant. that's when, it, because, because <laughs> I thought... It's crazy, he has to think that whole sentences. Because I thought, that's weird, isn't it? Right, I didn't think, that's weird, isn't it? And I no. thought, I actually think in my accent. And then I thought, does Stephen Hawking, does he... When he's doing his maths and that, mm. is he? I don't know where he's from, so I don't know what his accent would be like. I think he's from uh, Kent or Cambridge or Oxford. Right. Or something like that. So, so you think he might think in his in, in his, his voice in that yeah. in that voice in computerized box voice. <laughs> had lunch and sight today. Sat next to an old fella. Old men's ears and noses carry on growing as they get older. Suzanne noticed his fingers were fat too. Maybe they continue to grow. <clears throat> Suzanne didn't laugh when I said her arse had the same problem. <laughs> <laughs> three, cloudy start to the day. Had pine chips and a cafe. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get older. Suzanne noticed his fingers were fat too. Maybe they continued to grow. Suzanne didn't laugh when I said her arse had the same problem. <laughs> day three, cloudy start to the day. Had pine <laughs> chips and a cafe. I had a bit of an argument with Suzanne because I thought it was daft that we were paying for food when we were on an all-inclusive holiday. Changed my mind when I saw the they sold pie, though. <laughs> the cafe was called Tattoos. The fellow who owned it didn't have any tattoos. But we never saw his wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Had a drink in a bar. Everyone sat and watched one of the local cats lick its bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! What the fuck? One of the things that 
make all this shit so funny. But like you hear it, it's like, what the hell? And you hear Ricky's laugh. And he's hysterical with just laughs, but the hilarity of what the fuck you're hearing. Oh my god. Oh my god. This shit is just oh. <clears throat> this is the kind of shit I want to listen to on my deathbed. If I'm gonna go out, I wanna think and be happy <laughs> and laughing. This'll do it. I found a tiny one in that town. Went back to the hotel, let us sleep before tea. I love the fact you're like, you're moaning about old people, but you're just as bad. He's done nothing so far. <laughs> he's done nothing, he's got a hip. <laughs> Woke up to news about ducks being badly treated. There was a really ugly one with bent legs. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Why does he write this down? Oh, oh. Oh. There is a fat bloke from Bolton who is in the pool as I write this. He's got a big tattoo on his back, but I can't work out what it is. Dot, dot, dot. He just got out of the pool and burped. He just felt like you had to keep us abreast of that. <laughs> Everything's in the diary. I've just seen it get to the point where you're going, breathed in. <laughs> yeah. Breathed out again. There was a big fat fella in the sea who kept his T-shirt on. If you're big and fat, is there more chance of you getting burnt because there's more of you on show? <laughs> I asked Suzanne and she said she didn't know in that sort of not listening kind of way. <laughs> I wanted to hang about to see if the fat bloke was going to get in the kayak. <laughs> but Suzanne, <laughs> Suzanne said we had a head back. <laughs> Just let him wait in to see if he's going to capsize. <laughs> we go home today, so we got up early to get the last bit. This is the shit they ought to do the, the try not to laugh challenges on. This right here. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is the kind of stuff they need to do... The, to try that laugh challenges on because you're not gonna win. I don't care who it is, you're not gonna win. Bit of cloud. <laughs> no, it's, it's just that it wasn't. Uh, it's, it's it's not that sunny all the time. I mean, I, I was sat in in weather that if it was like that air, there's no way I'd be sat in the garden. <laughs> yeah. But because you're on holiday, it's like, well, we got to sit in it. Put your coat on. So are you gonna continue to write this diary? Every yeah, single day. It's amazing. Keep this diary up. It's no, amazing. I, I, no, I will. I will keep it up because what I find as well is I think earlier on before I went away, I think I did learn something, and because I wrote it down, I, I remembered it a bit um, better. So what was that? I just was thinking then. I forgot it now, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I remembered looking back at it and not having to read it all because <clears> I remembered. The end of it before I read it, if you know what I mean. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> what the fuck was that? And it... Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Carl introduces the diary. I think anything with Carl Pilkington and Ricky Gervais in it, any kind of exchange like that, I think it should be like standard, like Try Not Laugh Challenge stuff. Because if not, <clears throat> you I've watched these Try Not Laugh videos before, like outside of YouTube. And there's a lot of them I'm like, okay, I can actually watch this and not laugh at it. It's a little bit funny, but this is the kind of stuff right here that you just can't help yourself. It's just too, it's absurdly funny. So that being said, y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.